Welcome everyone. So yes, a lot of people thought that x minus seven, the whole square, is equals to forty nine. Now, in this case, a lot of people thought that this can be done orally. Literally, people thought that this is basically seven square, right? So, this is basically seven square. So, at this point, what people think is that the answer for x can be zero. Okay, but please understand that seven x minus seven the whole square is equal to forty nine, which can be written as seven square, right? In order to find the value of x, we need to take square roots on both sides. Whenever there is a variable involved, okay, the square root will always have a plus minus situation. So I will say x minus seven is equals to seven, or I will say x minus seven is equals to minus seven. So we have over here adding seven on both sides. So we have x is equals to seven plus seven, which is fourteen. On here we have x is equals to minus seven plus seven, which is equals to zero. So here we can say either the value of x is zero or fourteen. Lot of people missed out on one of the values, and that is why they got it wrong. Okay. So let's put over here. If I put Fourteen, so fourteen minus seven, the whole square, also gets me seven square, and zero minus seven, the whole square gets me minus seven, the whole square, whose answer also comes out to be forty nine. So here I can say that the value of x is either fourteen or zero. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.